Cancer is something that affects 25% of the population in their lifetime. Almost everybody has somebody that they know uh, and care about who's uh, been through cancer. For many patients, uh, cancer is um, a, a really tough time that they get through and they live the rest of their lives um, just the way they want. Um, for other people, cancer is something that they have to deal with for the rest of their lives. So I see patients with sarcoma. A lot of them actually do have very rare cancers. And sometimes they'll be very struck by the fact that they'll meet doctors that have never seen a patient with their kind of cancer before. Hey, how are you? Good morning, good, how are you? I'm doing good, thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you. I think when patients come to see us, they're very relieved to meet an expert that has experience with patients that have their specific condition. Immunotherapy is a way of treating cancer where we use a patient's own immune system to treat the cancer. And uh, the, the reason why people are so excited about it is because the immune system has the ability to recognize cancer uh, and kill it with relatively little toxicity. Hello, just fine. How are you, Joy? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the big challenge in cancer research is always distinguishing the cancer from the patient's normal body and finding ways to do that is really challenging. Uh, the old way chemotherapy basically worked by killing the, the body's most rapidly dividing cells and that uh, distinguished cancer because cancer was the fastest dividing cells uh, but there were many other rapidly dividing cells that got affected as well. The immune system can really uh, accurately distinguish normal tissues versus cancer uh, and that's why it's um, so exciting. There's a number of different ways that we can use the immune system. Uh, one, we can um, engineer T cells to directly recognize the cancer. We can also use medicines that help T cells that are in the body right now uh, that are trying to fight the cancer and um, uh, basically take the brakes off them so that they work harder to fight the cancer. We also have some um, uh, stimulants that we can um, use to try and boost the immune system uh, and we uh, we've been working on strategies using vaccines uh, to try and um, generate a big immune response so I think that there are going to be different immunotherapies that we use for different patients and I think that we'll be able to cure sarcoma for some of these patients